this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the new AI tools here in Illustrator. To get started, we're going to work from an image that has already been created. This is a stock image from Adobe Stock, all vectors, and if I go to my selection tool up here and drag over it, you can see that will select all the different vectors. Well, what I wanna do is change the color of this piece. Let's say I really like it, but I need to use a different color scheme. If I come down here to recolor, I can choose to recolor it or I can use AI to recolor it. There are some default color settings here or I could go in and say bright and colorful image with blues and oranges. Then hit generate and you can see that down here it gives me some different variations that I can work from for my piece. If I don't like it, I can always hit generate again and it will generate further options. I like this option, so I'm going to select it. Now that's a pretty simple thing right there, but let's take a look at something a little bit more complex. Here I have a blank canvas and I wanna put an illustration on this canvas. Typically I would have to go in with the pen tool and draw out everything, but now I can use generative AI. I'm going to go to my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a box. I'm going to go to my selection tool and select the box. Here we can see that there is a generate option again at the top and I can select that. In the box it says describe the graphic you want to create and next to that there is a graphic style. Subject will create a character, scene will create an entire scene, icon will create a simple graphic, and pattern will make a pattern of that object. So let's go with subject and I'm going to say flying toaster and choose generate. You might have also noticed that things are coming up over here in my properties window. If you are missing this window, you can always go to window and properties to open it. Inside of here, we have different options for our flying toaster. Now, I don't like any of these, but one of the great things about this tool is I can try to change it. So I can say toaster with wings. And now I have toasters with wings, which is closer to what I was looking for initially. You can see we still have those original pieces, so we can always come back if we like them better, but I think I'm going to go with this toaster with wings. With this, if I change the type, I can change what it looks like. So if I go to scene and select generate, it gives me more options. Here you can see that there is a background with this and that is trying to create an entire scene with my toaster. Notice that those options from before are gone. If I switch back to subject, those options come back. If I select icon and hit generate again, we have simplified versions of our flying toaster. And just like before, I could go back to scene, see those, or subject and see those. Lastly, let's look at pattern. I'm going to select generate, and you can see that this is generating a pattern inside of that design. If I don't like this, I can always move this over. Maybe I wanna save that shape for later. Create a new box. And you can see that that pattern will fill that box. Remember, we can always modify this. So if I wanted to say toaster with wings flying on a black background over mountains, and select generate, you can see that it's given us some different options here. Remember, the options you generate each time will be a little bit different, and you may have to hit generate several times with changes to your prompt to get exactly what you're looking for. Well, that's it for this week. Hope to see you again next week for another quick tip.